Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I'm doing another collaboration with Shiri from Forever Love for Art. So I'll make sure to link in the description box her channel below. She definitely needs some help guys. Get them subscribers up for her because she has some great, great art pieces. She recently did a beautiful like wave beachy cheese board and a pink geode and I love it. She's really good at what she does. So definitely check her out. And she reached out to me and wanted to do a collaboration and she was actually the one that inspired me to do those jewelry geodes such a long time ago. It feels like a long time ago. Um, and so I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So here is going to be our collaboration. I'll walk you guys through the process of the cheese board slash cutting board, whatever you want to call it, uh, the board of wood. <laughs> and I will walk you guys through how I resined it and what I am using. So just, well, quickly, I used the stone coat white base coat, and then I used uh, Patty's Pigments, a pumpkin orange, and Fire Engine Red, I think was the other one. So with Patty's Pigments and Stone Coats, I get discounts for both of those for you guys. So check that in the description box below. Um, and let's get to it. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that I'm doing is I am putting my base coat down. Normally you wanna um, actually prime the board, but I wanted some of the wood to show through on the edges, so I didn't. I did tape off the bottom though, so that way all the drips I could just easily remove with the tape once it's cured. And then you're gonna use a little bit of resin with a little bit of pigment to mix up your colors. You don't need a lot of resin for this part. I actually keep the majority of my resin for my base coats. And then I have the forks and knives. Right now, I just put the resin on them. I figured they, I couldn't really level them. So um, I put popsicle sticks underneath them to help level them once I realized that the resin was draining off a lot and it was showing too much of the uh, wood underneath. So after they were leveled, really what I'm trying to do is just create a marbled technique on my cheese board. So in order to do that, you just take the resin on top of your popsicle stick and you just let it drizzle off. And I literally mean drizzle. Pretend like you're drizzling on top of ice cream to make it look fancy or something. So that helps so much because then once the heat gun comes, you're going to have thick lines, you're going to have thin lines, and all of them are going to get spread around um, from that heat gun. So if you notice, I'm just going to start at the back and I'm going to push forward with my heat gun and allow the white to come over the red and vice versa. And that's just the first color I'm working with. Once I'm done spreading these out, I will come back to do coral and the same thing. Every time I put some color on, I come back and do the exact same thing with the heat gun to spread it out and give it the cells and the just cool looking um, texture and I love it. What's really cool about the Patty's pigments is they kind of create like a, a metallic scale looking thing on top of the texture or on top of the uh, base coat sometimes and I absolutely love that, it's so cool. Now that I've done the red and the coral, I thought that it was still a little too light for me. I wanted some major contrast in there. So that's why I decided to go with a darker red. Like this is a very, very deep red glitter, you guys. So I am just dragging it through like a snake lines, connecting them, not connecting them. It does not matter. I'm just sort of making it go in areas that are too white that don't have a lot of action going on. And that's how I decide where to put my lines. So once you do that, just um, go ahead and spread it out as well or leave it if you like the look. It's really completely up to you. Um, with mine, some of them I really liked. And so I just kept them that way. And then I tried to get some of the glitter to stay onto the side. But of course, it's very difficult to do. Um, and then for the last bit, what I did was I added some texture. And I had some red rocks, um, oh, good Lord, vase filler, vase filler that I dyed with alcohol inks, and I put that on top um, to give it the really cool texture. Now, when I'm doing it on my boards, I try to do it 
at polar opposite ends. So that way, if people are still wanting to utilize the board itself, it's okay if they're, you know, the majority of the work is not ruined from it. Um, and so that's kind of my thought process there. The texture, I also wanted to pull in on top of my fork and my knife. So I did do that as well. And something to keep in mind though, you don't want to have the white showing through. So that's why I put the dark glitter over top of the texture. So that way it actually looks like that whole section was textured. And then the last step was I just added a little bit more glitter to really pull it all together. And I had enough to make more coasters. So I did do a set of coasters on this one. I'm really glad that I did because I sold it as a set. Um, well, actually, shockingly, they didn't want the coasters or the knife and the fork, which was fine. So I actually broke apart the set. And then I sold the coasters separately. Um, and then I just put the knife and the fork on a different cheese board set. And then that did sell together. So I'm very flexible when I'm selling things. <laughs> I'm just sort of go with the flow. Um, whatever's going to get me money to be able to earn a living doing my art. So <laughs> that's kind of the mindset that um, I need going in. I'm not sure if that works well for you guys. Uh, but it's something to keep in mind. You know, don't expect everything to be perfect um, because it's not going to be. And we're just getting started. You know, you get, definitely got to put in that time and build the business and you guys are going to do fantastic so here's the picture at the end um, shows everything together and let me know what you guys think if you enjoy this video please 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 give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell um, so that way you don't miss any more of my future videos and I hope you guys have an amazing day bye everyone